Okay, this video, this is going to be, I hope for that short video, I don't know what. I wish I could do a million and one videos, but you all do tune in to the vendor flyer is up for Save the Black Parent along with get your tickets on Eventbrite for vending or attendance. It's $10 for a length of time that includes the children for free. Length of time. So now $10, what is going to hurt? You know, it, we talk about very valuable topics that you can't miss out on and definitely working on solutions. Um, definitely, you know, working a deck of cards. Because <laughs> um, we know it's not going to be cured overnight, but we don't need things getting worse than what it is. And y'all know the presidential election is coming up. Um, so definitely, you know, and, and don't y'all forget about X, um, the vaccine shorts. Uh, I'll be putting uh, tweets out about that um, definitely on definitely within the next few days I would definitely be um, because I, I you know most of the engagement you get usually have to come from an organization like Miles Rising I don't know if they're on the um, vaccine but you know if they was that's the one you're going to steadily get updates they're not going to let it go when it goes out of style they're going to keep updates by like Miles Rising right now is talking about child care no that is not a black organization um, but I do vote in with them um, you know, I do engage in a conversation and so forth like that. They actively go on Capitol Hill. Um, they actively do reports and so forth like that. So, definitely, you know, if you have one in your local area and so forth, definitely reach out, number 225-395-1792. So, this video today is about... Uh, toddler terrible tools that's the name of this video and it's something that I definitely would I would recommend due to much regret is that because they tell you about all these terrible tools it's like you become passive and you let a lot of things slide thinking that they're going to automatically um, go away and trust me a couple of years later it's going to be hard to get them back on track especially if you don't stay firm before and as they are two years old and they have these terrible tools but they're giving these children autism diagnosis ADHD diagnosis and so forth like that they're getting write-ups from child care the daycares aren't going to keep them I mean I don't know how many videos and, 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 and what has to happen for people to really understand you know you can't really just put your child in child care you know and whether you know you do it just yeah I mean there are people that are sociopaths they are psycho sociopaths and they apply for daycares they get daycares they go through the paperwork everything they can have a good conversation they can write up everything but you start seeing bits and pieces that just it just don't be like a faded yellow it be a loud yellow you may let one thing pass but the second or third like uh you intentionally know what you're doing so, um, the terrible tools, and definitely one thing I cannot stand is when you're in the store, it's not just a store, anywhere, and there are people that feel children shouldn't be crying, they shouldn't be yelling, oh, well, give them what they want, uh, excuse you, and that's why I understand why that woman got there, and whether she pop punched, I don't know what she did, the woman that wasn't out of her business. Um, because if you really saw a child that was really getting abused, you would not open your mouth and say anything. Uh, children have to definitely know when to say no. They cannot overrule stuff. And when you let them work out with these terrible tools, it's hard to teach them safety about the road. It's hard to teach them how to behave when they go other places. Child care will write them up, okay? And you will be getting into other stuff that will be making extra paperwork. And you, and you know good and well you don't like to read. And what good is saying, oh, okay, well, whatever they offer me, I just hope and have faith and God be with me. That's stupid. Oh, no. You know, you need to read and know what you're getting into before you read it. And you really need to have comprehension while reading. Like, you just don't go signing off and stuff because, oh, they told you to sign up on it because you saw it work out for such and such. But you don't know if your paper is exactly like theirs or 
see if they may be have some ulterior motives compared to what they're offering you with the same paperwork. I mean, come on now. Um, the terrible tool thing, you know, it, it just, you know, even if they're developmentally delayed, they should still have discipline. And they can have discipline. I'm not going to believe that because I've seen hundred thousands, a hundred stacks of people. And a development delayed person can be well behaved to where it would take a while for you to even know that they're development delayed, whether it's um, being blind, whether it's being deaf, whether it's being um, whatever their condition is. Um, so definitely that's terrible too. Um, and these vaccines totally against that. I definitely regret. I definitely regret. Um, that even though didn't get all of them at the same time, maybe got two of them that was in the same family, but I definitely regret uh, the shots. Wish I would after the child was released. Well, the child came. The only thing I didn't like um, from the from the um, when the child was released from the hospital, um, I did you know the. They tell me I don't give them no water and stuff like that. I was like, for real? Like, the child needs to at least have two ounces of water a day, like something to wash their mouth off and stuff like that. That is one regret um, that I have. But, you know, but was a perfectly good baby that could go anywhere. You know, was very, you know, within manageable. You know, you know, some babies are really, really like, ding, 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 ding. That's how some babies are, but didn't have that. Um... And that anyone that, you know, that know me, know me. I mean, not somebody that said, okay, well, I heard her name or hung around me for five minutes. But people that know me, you know, I didn't do that terrible two thing. You too, you, you gonna behave, you know. I'm gonna say most of them. I, I did have some nephews that were, I had a nephew that, that was kind of uh, different. No, he was a little older than two. He was about three. Yeah, he was about three, but um, I, I didn't do the terrible tools. Like, if you really, I mean, when we went to events, they may have a little phase where they kind of a little sad or don't want to be bothered, leave me alone. They may have that, but the terrible tools that these tantrum tools and so forth like that, um, I, I, you know, no, I, I didn't, I didn't have that with others children uh, so things are, are definitely different and you know you never re realize how much strength you have until you think about how much strength you have was able to apply and process them um, and so definitely it, it, it's different especially when the factors are very different than previous um, I would definitely recommend um, I'm not a doctor but definitely as a layman person, you know, person, whether we sitting on the porch, uh, what it is, mother to mother, woman to woman, woman to, uh, lady, lady to lady, um, don't, don't go for the turbo tools. You're just setting your child up, you know, you're going to set your child up to be, they're going to diagnose, you know, the medicine, they're going to diagnose. Your child get into all this extra paperwork. This uh, and most likely if you don't have money or real insurance, because there are a lot of people that have generic insurance, and they it's just like having being a dollar above Medicaid, and they still can't afford stuff, so they still have to sell for cheap services, and that's exactly where you're gonna set you up. You let those children get there and you know express that terrible tools out. Um, a few years later, three years old, it does not stop, you know, unless it, it blessed and highly favored may happen, but overall, it, it does not stop, especially if you let them, you know what I'm saying, you be very more lenient, and you don't be getting on them for everything because it's the terrible tools, and you let them have their way, and then what happened is, what, you have your child in a, hard to put them on track. Children need to be trained from out of the womb. They need to be in order. When they go places, you should be able to shout. Um, 
when you need to do transactions, you can't have a babysitter for everywhere. People will tell you stuff, oh, let them have their way and stuff like that, but guess what? They may not even be a trustworthy person to even leave your children with or are never available or help with your child care fees, nor allocate for your child care being covered. So, um, and, you know, it, it's no telling. It's so much stuff that, you know, you don't, you can't attend to people. Go buy your deck of cards. And single mothers have to do things different from a two-parent or a person that has more support. You know, some people think that they don't have no support and they say they do everything on their own. But, you know, when you, if you don't have to put your child in daycare... Or, you know, saying so you don't have to put them very flexible, like they they go to daycare after not until preschool, you know, you have support because the baby not watching themselves. Somebody watching the baby. Even if you paying a person, that's somebody that could be doing something else with their time. Um, instead of watching your child. And if they do that, that's like the best gift in the world. I mean, two things are the best gift in the world. And that's having child care. Uh, and a supportive family and a healthy child. I'm going to say three. So when you have those three, yeah, you can make it without money as a focus in your world. You can because you have a supportive family. So y'all going y'all gonna to make me, y'all going to push and pull a dollar. Matter of fact, y'all going to push and pull a ten dollar. With, even if it's just four minimum people. Because somebody could be available to help pick up the child, somebody could be available to watch the child, somebody could get there, you know, help out with diapers, somebody could get there, help out with coupons, it is all kinds of things to make things going, somebody get there and, you know, go get your, you know, go, go get what the baby needs, you know, somebody sick, or whatever like that, somebody could take out and say, well, look, I'll come over while, you know, you're taking a shower, or you need to take a nap, and I'll keep the baby, you know, I, I you know, i keep the baby occupied, i come over and read a book while you wash dishes, you know, with the baby. Stuff like that. So if you have at least four people that, you know what I'm saying, you can flip flap around and they're a support to you. I mean, they're trustworthy that, you know, if you, anything happened to you, you know, that, okay, you know, your child's going to be taken care of. Anything happens. Then, you know, that's like the most blessed in the world. Like, you don't have no real, <laughs> you don't have no real problems. Um, so, you know, that. Terrible tools is really a Russian roulette. Um, and the best thing is you have to be consistent. I'm going to say even, you know, they, they understand when they're 9, 10 months, even 5 months old. They understand. They understand, okay, I need to be quiet. I go in this place. Mommy's doing something. She gave me some toys. She gave me um, some items to keep myself occupied. You know, they understand, they understand that. And it's best to keep them on that track. But when you have a child that goes from being the, the perfect child that can go anywhere, the perfect child that, you know, is really advanced on something, and then you have a child that, you know, goes another direction, goes haywire, it is really, really, um, it, 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 had, it creates extra delays in your life. And, you know, really the best thing is just still, you know, the best thing, you know, even before you get into that matter, you know, as with my own self, it's just best to detour people that's going to come with um, generic energy, um, ge you know, with uh, generic criticism. You know, their criticism, it'll be so silly. Like, they'll be the kind of people talking about, well, you need to pay your bills, and, and they can know you not have no money. They can know that you you, you can't breathe, and they're going to be like, well, you're supposed to breathe. You're supposed to breathe. But you can't breathe. You then can see you not can't breathe. You 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 know you can breathe. You know that's gonna be detour, detour. Right? You know, I don't do that commonality stuff. I'm about the adjective and adverb of what you're about. Forget the commonality. Cat, dog, bird, fish. You know whatever like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Offspring. That's something different. You know, and definitely. You know, there are people that want to dictate how you communicate with them, such as, oh, well, you know, you could call me every day. Oh, I, you know, I called you while you didn't answer the phone. Um, I asked you a question, why didn't you 
answer it. Like, because you need to know your business. And you know what I'm saying? Well, if you get there and ask a book that, you know what I'm saying? Then maybe we could talk more productively. But you know good and well, even if you did read a book, you know you're not calling to have that flow of conversation. You know? And that's just the reality of people that you have to deal with. And so, um, don't, don't, don't get relaxed with the terrible tools. Don't let a child become dominion because they have terrible tools. Because you get lax and the next thing, no deal, don't give a care. And what? Then you have to get all these services to try to put them back. Then you fool around there, like I said, your child care. People are not going to want to keep your child care. People are going to be really exhausted. And they could care about your child so much. But, you know what I'm saying? You need to make child care as easy as possible, especially for a child that is not theirs. The only person that you need to be, you know what I'm saying, um, trying to make, oh, you need to accept my child the way it is, is the person that later made their child with you. I'm a firm believer that. So, you know, a child that is born disadvantaged, that's different. But a child that becomes or, you know, take over, Nah, that's, 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 that's not so. Now, you don't want them too submissive or, a, you know what I'm saying, you don't want them no no duck. It's a beautiful animal, but it's just, uh, you know, it's not a good street term. But, um, you know, so you don't want them no, no duck or too submissive to where they're following whatever they're told and so forth like that. Um, but, they, you know, they need to know the difference between, okay, this is for safety this is, you know, I need to behave when I go here. I don't need to be making extra trouble for myself, okay? Now, you know what I'm saying? I defend themselves, that's a different thing. But to get there and just be cutting up because you didn't give me what I want or I see such and have something and you need to give it to me, oh, my goodness. I, You know what I'm saying? And, you know, there's a lot of things I do not like when children beg. I do not do, do like, you need to have more formality when you ask for stuff. I don't need you going around like, you know, lost often. If, if you, you know what I'm saying? No, I, I don't like that. No, 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 no. You need to have formality, and you need to ask as though you're not coming to rob somebody. I, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't like that, and that's a habit that needs to get broken out of a lot of children. Children have to take no, and children need to have more thought. Okay, is this worth me asking for it? You know, and children are not to be given everything they need. No. You know, I wish I would have never gave, you know, sweet should have been a thing just for travel on the road. That's it. It should have never been in, um, it should have never been in our presence, in our dwelling. It should have never been there. Um, it should have never, you know, that that's the sweet is something. And, and it's, you know, sometimes I have a little urge and I want to conveniently get it, but when you have a child that you can't hide nothing from, they get to everything, that's why, you know, you have to be extra cautious of where your child go because somebody may think, oh, well, I got there and I, I you know, I put the gun up in the cl- in the top of the closet or whatever, I put it at the back or I put it in the, uh, in, in the kitchen drawer, you know, it's like, okay, this is no argument, let's get away from here, it's nothing to argue about, you know, and the same thing for any daycare that thinks like that and reply like that, and there are people that has a reply like that within them. And it's like, okay, it's not worth arguing with you. It's not worth arguing with stupid people, you know. And, and you have to say stupid because it's like they're, they're very content and want you to agree with something that they're totally wrong on that's not in opinion. Um, but those are some examples of what children need to be disciplined on, how they need to very much be making because, you know, when we were growing up, it was when you were told not, you know, those little burner heaters. It was plenty of children got burnt like that. I don't recall getting burnt. I remember I used to take something and, and throw it in the heater, but I didn't touch it. Um, I, well, I don't see no scars on me, so if something did happen, I don't know about it, and it wasn't serious. Maybe if it, if so, it was must have been something that got repaired. Um, in which I don't I don't see no stitches, but I remember the old fashioned heaters that was bowly. Uh, bowly open like the bricks. It was the ceramic bricks and they had the heater on it. You know, Grandma wasn't no, oh, baby. You know, saying, oh, you know, it, it wasn't no hide nothing, the kind of thing. It, it wasn't like that. Granny, 
great aunts, whatever. It was no, you, you better keep yourself away from it. That was, that was, the, that was the goal. Glass tables. I will never get a glass table. I, I didn't want a glass table when it wasn't my own drip, you know, back then. Back with so so <laughs> Back when, you know, before now. But way back, like 15 years ago, I, I, you know, I've always been a person when I do glass because that's something I don't want to be remembering. A child broke my glass trying to repair it. A child get injured from the glass and a child want to test me, break it. No, never want to be bothered with that. And definitely not. No. Um, but back then, you just better not break it. That was all to it. It, it does not matter if you were six months, eight months old. It, it, that's how it was. All that terrible tools, um, it was only, it was a few people ch who let their children do whatever, and they, they did those children terrible tools to 8, 9, 10, 11 years old. Uh, and it was a few of them, even though you know how it is with that bad fruit, make the other fruits bad kind of thing. I know. Maybe, yeah, I, I know probably, you know, because I, I may have to get a little start to about 8, 9 years old. I'm going to say about 9. Maybe around this time. But, um, definitely. Um, terrible tools, take notes. You all register for Eventbrite. We have our BB Namics crowdfund, so if you're not able to attend or you're not in the New York City area or won't be there for uh, September, definitely go to BB Namics. Um, you're going to see the radio flyer for Spares of Black Parents, um, Black Reconstruction, and also for What About Us, Professor Carlton Jones. So definitely. I will um, be back with you all and definitely be in tune on the Google Plus timeline and for our Google Hangouts that I'm sure will be coming. Um, June's going to be a very busy month, so I don't expect none, but definitely review the videos on the channel. So I'm sure there's enough videos of you for a long run. Also, review um, for, uh, Carlton Jones. So subscribe to that channel, uh, Carlton Jones. And definitely updates will be on the on the Google Plus, the Twitter, hashtag state BP, hashtag BP now, hashtag Black Parents Live, hashtag BLK Youth Radio. Our official website will be released by um, this Monday, June first. So we 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 gonna get, we we gonna get it started. Ain't gonna be no more. It ain't gonna be a maybe. The site will be June up. Uh, T T Y L.